wonderful city alone. As I do every day, it has come quite common for me to be able to hear that in my dream or see that during the day or that sign just plays over and over in my head. As I've only been home no more than a half an hour, which I live right next door, because my focus has been since the city put me on assignment to make sure I care for a community, which I did prior to me being put on that assignment. I would like to applaud the city, the different departments who have been working diligently together prior to uh, Hurricane Sandy and in the afternoon. There are different things that this administration understood and different things that people understood working in different areas who may be able to reach different people. Yes, the city could have come in and closed down the whole operation of the MLK, but that has not been done. But we have, whether it was unapproved and then approved, I must commend Scott Kimmins, Scott Co Steve Cohart, and all of those that the city assigned to check out the building prior to us moving in from the city manager and the different city councils and my uh, boss, Jim Lockerova. Again, I, I cannot commend you guys enough, first of all, for allowing me and giving me the task that I wanted so dearly in my heart to care for our community and to care for the city of Long Beach as I always do. I must say every single day after the storm, we've been up night and day trying to do what we can. I really come here to urge the city to think about as we meet and we plan to meet to keep the MLK Center open as a distribution site. It may not be heard that much that it is a distribution site, but it is, and we're doing what the city has allowed us to do, and that's to be able to help out people in the city of Long Beach. It is not just for a particular community, but we help out people from the east, the west, the north, and the south. We have also taken on the task to be able to go into the city housing authority to be able to help out seniors that can't walk from the sixth floor. And we went up and had hugs from seniors that are 90 or maybe handicapped or in a wheelchair. If you look at our Facebook page, whether it's been the city of Long Beach or the MLK or the Long Beach Recovery, some of the people, I would like to just give them a round of applause are here with me. Can you stand up with them and give them a round of applause, please? Some of the people that came with me this week. <laughs> this is just a small amount. I don't mean to take up so much of my time, but we don't do it for the applause, but we do it because we care about people. I thank God for all of the individuals and all of the different people, whether it's FEMA or whether it's the fire department, police department. I know my time may have run out, but I'll take just a few more seconds if I'm allowed. Am I allowed? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. So again, I didn't have a prepared speech, but I'm just letting it come from my heart as it's been flowing from my heart from day one. Again, I don't come to yell. I don't come to, I don't come to uh, tell who didn't do what, who did that. The people of Long Beach see who's working with and who's helping. I'd like to thank again all of the city officials. You know what you have done. Again, I would like to thank our county legislator who's been a great help in FEMA and also National Grid. Again, I can go on so much, but this is just a little time that I want to come and ask the city to give us more time. Yes, the building is very important to get back to the daily operations, and it is an urgency for us to uh, apply normalcy, but there's no normalcy when there's, again, housing buildings where there's seniors that never been out of the building and that right on Facebook, this is day 29 and day 31, I'm in here and nobody cares about me and I didn't have hot food and my stove is not working. So we've been that, that, that running force that God has blessed us to be, to run up and down those stairs. And we've been, I didn't take, I took the elevator up and I said, how can I dare take the elevator up when people are still walking down? So I took the elevator back down and I walked up the stairs and I asked everyone to walk down the stairs when they get ready to leave. So again, I thank each and every one of you for allowing the center to be a distribution site. If you come down there, you'll see what we've been doing, like some of you have been stopping by. Again, I applaud you, I thank you. I hope I've not talked too much, but I'd like to thank God for what God is doing in this city, the pastors that have come together. And again, I can't blame anyone for anything in particular, but I can blame God just because he's so awesome and he's allowed this to happen to bring, be able to bring us closer together. Again, in my closing, I'll say that I'll love to meet with you guys and give detail about what has taken place, but my mind has totally been to focus.
focus on the needs of the community and nothing else, not any paperwork, but to focus on the needs of people that may have been starving or may have been hungry from 215 Broadway, from 175, which we ran there today and ran up all the stairs, to 519, right across the street. Again, those residents are there. I urge this city, if there's a, a elevated crew that can work all night through the night, there are seniors that have not been to the doctor, and there are seniors that want to get out. Please, let us as a city, let us as United Forces, call whatever agency that can work night and day. It is six weeks, and the seniors are locked on the sixth floor, right across the street from here. When I leave from here, I'm going to go visit a friend who called and said she needs something, and I'm going to make sure she has it. So again, I urge this city, get on the phone, call whatever elevated company. I'll be up because it's hard for me to sleep knowing that they're trapped there. Again, God bless you, and I ask that God continue to bless this city as we continue to work together. And I ask that you continue to allow God to lead you in your efforts and like he's been doing as you go into your daily business. I pray for each and every one of you as I pray for this city. God bless. Thank you. Sorry at all. I've contacted, we've contacted everybody that we needed to contact, but whoever's been contacted, I asked the city council to put an extra contact on it. So me as a, a ser just a simple resident, I asked that the city council go ahead and contact the housing authority or contact the state or the governor who can send an elevated crew in. So it's not just on me, but I ask that we do it together and we get this elevator fixed in all of the senior apartments. Thank you, James. I, I was in touch with, uh, with the housing authority today and believe me, I've urged uh, Mr. Goodman to move on that as quickly as possible. Um, and yes, you're absolutely right. We have even blind people that can't even go up and down the stairs with no food. And that's been brought to my attention and we've followed up on that. And so we appreciate what you've brought to us. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask Mr. Johnson to come forward because I know he's been waiting. Yes. So Mr. Johnson, come, come on up. And James, thank you so much. Thank you. Computer Caliente. Hot food. And hot stuff.